Let's talk links and hyperlinks in Smartsheet, but let's talk about them a little bit differently than what you might be thinking of. So we're going to cover the standard way that we use links and hyperlinks uh, and, and images in Smartsheet. But I want to give you a little spin toward the end of a way that I use it on a lot of my projects to make navigating between the different Smartsheet sheets and dashboards and reports really easy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at is if we go back to our format cells sheet uh, that we've used in prior videos. So I'm gonna use this column six right here as both my image and my link column, um, just for ease of use. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is check out this little button here, this little icon, this is our cell linking button. So there's two different types of links that we can have in Smartsheet. One is a hyperlink, which is just the same way that you would expect any hyperlink on any website to work. Right, you click on it and it sends you to another website. We'll look at that in a second. This one is cell linking. This one's a little bit different. So with cell linking, what we can do is we can pull in information from a totally different sheet into our current sheet and link those two cells together. So that way, when the information updates on our other sheet, it will automatically update on this sheet as well. So let's look at how to do that. So cell linking is really simple. Uh, once you click the little icon, it's going to give you a list of all of your sheets that you have available. And then once you find the sheet that you want to work with, you just click on the cell that you want to link back to your current cell and say, create link. So that's really simple, really easy to do. Um, so now, sorry, I just hit a button on my keyboard and it's just asking me, um, am I interested in removing the link? And I'm going to say no. So now when that cell gets updated, um, it's automatically going to update our sheet in this cell with that same information. So you guys have seen from previous videos where we use things like index match to update um, data in our current sheet when that data changes from other sheets. Index match is great, but the problem with it is that it uses the information from all of the cells in the columns that you have referenced in your cross sheet references. But in this case, we're just referencing one single cell to get the information back to us. All right, so that's cell linking. So let me pull that back out of there. And now let's look at the image. So to insert an image, we hit the, um, hit the insert image icon and we can upload a file either from our desktop or somewhere we have stored locally on a shared drive, or we can get it from Google drive and, and these different places. So I'm just going to upload a file I have locally and we're going to choose this guy right here and say, okay. Okay. So he's going to pull in for us right here on this one cell on our first, um, our first row. The problem with images sometimes is that they can get massive. So if you're not using an add-on like brand folder that comes with that's integrated with Smartsheet and you're just you're just inserting individual images like this, you may have an issue with the with the size of the image um, because it expands every single row. So the other thing that we can do with images is if we double click on the image, then we can get to the title of the image. We see a larger picture of the image. We can download it from here, and then of course we can close it. Uh, images like this embedded into sheets are great for things like pictures that you're taking, photos, um, great for uh, icons and logos as well. Um, just so you need something, a really quick reference that you don't want to go hunt down um, on some shared drive somewhere. All right, so that's an image. So now let's look at hyperlinks. So with hyperlinks, we can right click the cell and we can, uh, we can where is it at? Hyperlink down here at the bottom. So if you notice, they, these two are uh, the exact same that we just talked about. Inserting an image and link from a cell in another sheet is that same icon that we looked at first. All right, so let's go to hyperlink. So hyperlink gives us two different options. The first one is to link to a URL. So just like any uh, URL that we would have that we could get from any website, we could go copy that website uh, URL and drop it in here and say, okay. So it gives us an actual hyperlink, which is nice. Now, when I click on this hyperlink, it's going to open up a new tab for me and it's going to send me directly to that website. It doesn't open it in the same tab. So that's important to remember because whenever we do the other side of the hyperlink, so let's take that out. We'll do hyperlink again. And this time we're going to use link to other smart sheet. So the link to other smart sheet, whenever I choose this and I select the sheet to go to, I can choose to go anywhere I want. I can go to sheets. I can go to dashboards, reports. Uh, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to choose this dashboard just for fun and say, okay. And I'll say, okay, here as well. So if you notice it is a link now and we can define the link text. 
If you noticed earlier, whenever we jumped out to Google, we couldn't actually define that link text. So it's a little limitation. But now so that we have a smart sheet item in here, our line graph test, watch what happens whenever I click the button to move over to that line. Let me save it first. To move over to that line graph test uh, dashboard. If you notice, it gave us the dashboard in the exact same tab. So which for sometimes can be a little bit cumbersome if you're having to flip back and forth between sheets and between your hyperlinks. Um, in this case, we cannot use the control click to open it in a new tab, but we can use that on all of our other, you know, if you're in your, in your folder over here and you click on something, if you hold down control, it'll open it up in a new tab for you. Okay, so now let's move on. So I'm gonna take that, that bad boy out again and just simply delete it um, to get it to take out. All right, so now let's talk about how to use these links um, in a way that makes things really efficient for you as you're creating your different documents. So when I create a, a project file, it typically has a number of different assets, Smartsheet assets in it, right? It could have a dashboard, it could have a report, it could have multiple sheets, I could have a sheet for my project uh, task list, I could also have a raid log, I could also have a sheet for collecting invoices. So all of those different sheets um, are gonna be collected in the same place. Now, if you're using something more, the one of the advanced apps that's called work apps, we can bring all of those sheets and, and forms and reports and dashboards together uh, in one complete view, right? But if you're not using work apps, then one of the ways to make this easy on your users to navigate is if you go over here to your summary field and click on new field. Um, so let's just give it a name. So for this one, I'm gonna call it uh, dashboard and say, okay. So in my dashboard field, now I'm gonna link to, sorry, now I'm gonna to link to hyperlink again, and I'm gonna choose other smart sheet, and I'm just gonna hit that same dashboard that I looked at earlier, the line graph test. Say okay, and say okay. So now when we save this, every time your users come into this sheet, they have a quick reference over to the dashboard. They can click here and be sent to the dashboard immediately. Now that holds true for, if you wanted to create another field for uh, another sheet that they could get to like your raid log uh, or your your project task list or your invoice entry sheet um, You can store all of those in smart sheet in in the sheet summary and it makes it really easy to navigate between sheets Dashboards and assets in smart sheet So if you like this video, please hit thumbs up, uh, please subscribe and we'll have more videos coming out for additional smart sheet applications um, additional smart sheet topics as well